Now, would you look at that? I knew I'd seen someone scrambling in the mountains. What brings you here, my sir? Who am I? Findelires, apothecarius by my path. Pleased to meet you. And you are at Sun Coast, in the south of Enderal. Where are you from? Uh, but wait, don't tell me. I know that accent. Nerim, isn't it? I... There we go. Everything's locked up. At least for the night we should. Wait a second. Who's that? <sighs> Just an adventurer on his way. No reason to worry. No reason to worry? For heck's sake, Finn. How do you know that this guy isn't with the bandits? You said you'd call me if anyone showed up. And now you're... You're standing here, having a chat with him as if this were the bathing house of Ark. Lo and behold, we are still alive. Now, is there anything else, Carbos? Huh. I've got my eye on you. Touch any of our stuff, and you'll regret it. Unbelievable. <sighs> May I present Carbos as he lives and breathes. Sorry about that just now. That's just how he is. In any case, if you don't need any more help, I'd suggest you move on. Follow the way east behind the dam house. It'll lead you to a village called... Uh, Riverville. Ah, here, take this. Truth be told, you don't look so healthy. Your eyes... <laughs> ah, well, whatever. Hmm, there's something... Mm, peculiar about you. I don't know how else to say it. I would examine you myself, but we don't have the right equipment with us. So, if I were you, I'd ask a priest in Riverville to have a look at you. Who knows, maybe you caught something in that temple. <laughs> us? Oh, nothing spectacular, I'm afraid. We gather herbs, but tomorrow we're going back north, to League. <sighs> you should stop by one day if you're in the area. Someone who scours Pyrian ruins and survives could surely be useful to the apothecary and help us find some things. Hmm, yeah, why not? Show me what you've got. Maybe I have some things you can use. Well, what can I tell you? This is the Sun Coast, in the south of Enderal. A pretty peaceful area. Except for all the animals and bandits that have recently started going crazy. And, well, that's pretty much it. I think you should ask the people in Riverville if you want to know more. They certainly have some stories to tell. To an adventurer? <laughs> if you ask me, what you need before you adventure anywhere is some good old-fashioned shut-eye. But yes, there are some places. The Three River Watch, for example, right there below the Stone Arch. It was once an old trading post, but now it's full of ooh, shady characters. Ah, and there's also a big Pyrian ruin south of it. 
<laughs> By the Black Guardian. You really are an outlander, aren't you? My path is... Well, it, it's just me path. My role designated to me by Malthus. A kind of calling, if you will. Uh, not exactly. Malthus designates our place in society. Generally the same one our fathers and forefathers occupied. I walk the path of the Eridites. And there's also the manufacturers, the sublimes, and, of course, the pathless. Within these roles, we are free to choose a profession, but certain vocations that are available to an erudite are not permitted to a manufacturer, which is one path below. However, below does not mean that it is in any way inferior. Everyone on Enderal does what they do best, and who would know better than the gods what exactly that is? In the folly of my youth, I might have thought about it, yes. But then, I realized that half of what goes wrong in this world has to do with the desire to advance. I am interested in living the righteous path and to contribute to the preservation of my people. That's enough for me, and only the faithful will be granted the eternal paths upon death. Men or women who have never received the path consecration, or those who have broken their path. Brigands, glimmer dust smugglers, murderers, well, you know. <laughs> and over here, there's a rumor that the Golden Queen has a weakness for men in gowns. Seriously, be careful with that kind of gossip. I know you don't mean any harm, but there are a few who might consider it heresy. Maybe. But if I look at other countries, even within the civilized world, it's hard to find a people as peaceful as ours. Don't mention it. I wish you a quick recovery and safe roads. Walk blessed. Carbos, do we need this still tomorrow? Or can I clean all the tools? Places, Finn, I'm playing. Don't bother me. <sighs> I guess that means no. Hmm? By the righteous path. What happened to you? You look as if you've met the Black Guardian himself. Fever? Well, um, <laughs> there could be many causes. Wait a moment. I think I still have some grunt root. That should be enough to ease your pain, at least for now. Take a seat at the fire. The warmth might help you. Oh, so now we're brewing potions for complete strangers. Well, if the strangers are about to die of fever, then yes. There was that oath we swore once, remember? To help the afflicted, to... Whatever. Thank you. Gruntrudes, Gruntrudes. Ah, here we go. So, let's see. Sheer cup, some water, ha, done. I can't make any promises, Shit. but... Finn, the still! Do something, damn it! Do something! Oh, no. oh Sod it. Why well, really have to watch every step you take? That was a fucking close call. Uh, hey, I'm sorry, all right. We'll pick up a new one in Ark. Yeah, and you're paying for it. 
here I thought this bloody day couldn't get any worse. <sighs> this day isn't getting any better. Here, drink this. It'll help you. See? You already look a lot better. Still, you should let a priest take a look at that fever as soon as possible. The grunt root portion will wane in a few days. What? You mean the still? Bad quality. And too much heat, I'd wager. But, eh, whatever will be, will be. Uh, explosion? I'm not sure I'll follow. Oh, that'd be great, wouldn't it? Finn Dalleries. Died in 8234. Cause of death, exploding still. Ha ha. Look, I really don't know what you're talking about. Maybe... Wait a second. What was that? Hmm. I could have sworn I saw something moving over there. Oh, shit! Ah. What the? Carbos! They... They've hit me, Finn. Those bastards. They've hit me. Carbos, I... Do something, damn it! Now look at that. Our mysterious survivor has awoken. Jaspar Matumiel Delveric. Jaspar for short. And you, my friend, are at my very own campsite. Before you ask, yes, the bandits killed both of the apothecary. The only reason you're still alive is that the impact of the explosion threw you right into the thicket. Most of your injuries are only superficial, but your fever, well, that's a different story. I was on the perimeter, and no, I didn't help for two reasons. One, I was outnumbered. Two, I'm quite fond of my entrails. I wish I had a more heroic answer, but I don't. Sorry. Quite a lot, actually. You're suffering from Arcanist's fever. Honestly, I'm surprised the old Apothecarius didn't see that. Let me guess, you're suddenly capable of doing things you previously knew only from the Bard songs, right? You're unusually strong, you have reflexes like a cat, and drinking potions or any kind of magically infused substance leaves a bitter afterglow in your head. Well then, congratulations. Your magical talent just blossomed. A bit late, given your age, but it happens. Put simply, the fever is a result of your body not being able to cope with it. That's not much of a problem for now, but if you don't let Narkness treat you sometime soon, things are going to get grim. Contain it, not cure it. From here on out, you're always going to be a little more sensitive than someone without magical gifts. But that's tolerable compared to what your magic will allow you to do. Prone to certain conditions? As I said, your fever will get worse if you drink healing potions. But you'll also be a lot more susceptible to nightmares, and those kinds of things. Also, you should be very cautious of areas with magical contamination, such as Thalgard in the east. At first, diffuse headaches and general unease. Later on, your eyesight will blur, your limbs will grow weak, and you'll get a maddening itch all over your body. If you leave it untreated for too long, you'll either die or turn into an Orbaya. Yes, it can kill you. Everything has its price, as the wise hermit likes to say. And an Orbaya is basically a giant undead version of yourself with tumors and pus all over your body. Just never let the fever get too bad. Well, there's ambrosia, but for an uncontained fever, it'll only postpone the symptoms. Later, you can drink it whenever the fever gets worse. The stuff looks and tastes like undead sweat, and is bloody expensive, but it's the only thing that really helps. You have... visions? Um... 
Not that I know of. The only visions I've ever had are those that come along with a good pipe of peaceweed. Hmm. You know what? As I said, someone needs to contain your fever as soon as possible. And as it happens, I know people. But in return, I want you to tell me everything. What did you do in that temple? And what's the story with those visions? I can't put my finger on it, but there's something strange about you, and that intrigues me. What do you say? Well then, the stage is yours. Hmm, I see. My condolences for your loss. So, let me summarize. You somehow survived getting thrown into the open sea, and while you were half dead, had this dream in which you saw burnt bodies and a blinding light? Huh. And you also said that your magic didn't develop gradually, as it usually does, but all at once, right? <sighs> well, that's quite the story. I guess you know how absurd it sounds, but for some reason, I believe you. I've met a lot of liars in my life, and you aren't one of them. All right, it's settled then. I'll introduce you to my employer and ask him to treat you. Before we leave, however, there's something else I need to take care of, and I can use a hand. The sooner we get that done, the sooner we can make for Ark. <laughs> Ark? The capital of this country? Walls high as towers of iron-hard stone rest alone in the mountains in granite enthroned. Never decaying, the ages surveying, guarded by Malthus, and blah 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 blah, and so on and so forth. Hey, you're going to see it soon. Well, aren't you curious? I work for the Holy Order. Yeah, but they're more than just a military unit here. Enderal belongs to Malthus, the Guardian God, and the Order answers directly to him. In other words, they're calling the shots here. No king, no queen, no council. Just an order of noble warriors always looking so stern and joyless that you might think they're struggling with constipation. Um, up to you. But without me accompanying you, the guards won't let you into the Sun Temple in Ark. And that's the only place you can get your fever treated. Splendid. You'll need some information before you can help me, though. I take it the fact that Vin has seen better times hasn't eluded your attention, has it? For the last two years, there have been wars and unrest everywhere. And even though in Enderal there is officially peace, there are peculiar things happening here, too. Normally docile animals and batirs attacking wanderers in the open. The dead awakening in hordes. It's unsettling, to say the least. The strangest thing, however, is the Red Madness. Yeah, the rumors. I I've heard them too. And I could indeed imagine that they're true, and that there's a connection, yes. As I said, maybe. If you ask me, the Lightborn were never more than imposters anyway. False gods. Well, they usually lead the thinking to their holy order. And they, of course, deny everything. But as much as I hate to say it, maybe it's better this way, at least for now. A spiritual crisis is the last thing this country needs at the moment. Oh, I'm hardly representative. I've seen that a long life is only one of the things powerful magic can achieve. And the false deity theory isn't that new, after all, is it? Seriously, say the Lightborn really are as mighty as the Revelations say they are. Wouldn't they have the power to call down lightning on me right here and right now, to punish me for my insolence? No. The Lightborn were immortal kings, and that's all. At least, that's how I see it. I hope I didn't hurt your feelings. Splendid. You never know. But we digress. Yeah. It's some kind of mental illness that makes people lose their mind. Just a couple of weeks ago, there was a smith in Ark who butchered his entire family. 
He was drunk, but that doesn't explain why he screamed things like fear the light while he was doing it. Or a young woman of noble path who set her own house on fire while her family was asleep. Now, you might say that these kinds of things happen, but by now there have been more than a dozen incidents in a very short period of time. The fact that the afflicted's eyes glow red while they go rampant has made people call the disease the red madness. Thing is, some weeks ago it happened again, only this time it was a magister from the Holy Order itself. A teacher who instructs the novices aspiring to become keepers, his name was Yero, a man with more than 60 winners on his back. Well, according to the sole survivor, he entered the teaching room that day as usual. But instead of giving his lecture on alchemy, he gave a strange kind of speech where he kept going on about how mankind is corrupted and that it has succumbed to the void. Then his eyes started glowing, he locked the door and blew himself up in a magical explosion. Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm not one for vows and austerity, so no, I'm no keeper. My specialty is recovering lost things. Treasures, tomes, memories, and the like. And the Order hired me to do just that. They want to know how a man like Yarrow could fall victim to the Red Madness. And thus, if there's something like a pattern to this malady. Doesn't matter. Yarrow grew up in a small village not far from here. And according to the Order, he visited it quite often after his partner died. What I want your help with is finding clues as to why he did what he did. What do you think? Great. First of all, I want you to travel to Riverville and talk to an old man named Alfred, a childhood friend of Yarrow's. Ask him what he makes of the incident and whether he has any explanation for it. Secondly, a farm boy told me that he saw Yarrow throw something into the sea during his last visit there. The winds have been blowing inland the last couple of days, so go search the shoreline and see if it washed up. I myself will take a look at the house Yarrow grew up in. Ah, and here. This is a map of the region. Yarrow's house is at the blue dot. So, unless there's anything else, I'd say let's step to it. Just meet me at the farm when you're done. <laughs>